For 73 years, Titanic sat two miles down, eluding the world's top undersea explorers until 1985, when Bob Ballard came along. The Navy had tasked Bob Ballard with a secret mission, to map two nuclear submarines lost in the Atlantic during the Cold War. The cover for his Navy mission was that he was actually searching for the wreck no one else could find, the Titanic. The traditional approach to searching for something in the in darkness, because you can't see, is to use a sonar. And you lower this sonar down and you tow it back and forth and you mow the lawn. Ballard used what he had just learned investigating the Navy subs, that when a vessel sinks, the wreckage is carried by the current, leaving a trail of debris like a comet. Applying that to the Titanic, he decided not to look for the ship itself. Instead, he searched for the trail of debris that he estimated stretched over a mile. And sure enough, I picked up the trail. And as soon as I picked up the trail, I knew exactly go north. And I walked right into the Titanic. The moment of discovery was captured on camera. Our initial reaction was joy. And someone looked, and it was 2 in the morning, someone says, you know, she sinks in 20 minutes. Because she sank at 2.20 in the morning, and we went and all, we were embarrassed that we were celebrating. And all of a sudden we realized that we should not be dancing on someone's grave. 